So did you ladies know by chance that there is a new accessory out this fall season? And it pretty much goes with anything you could pull out of your closet. You haven't even seen it yet and I know you're gonna love it. Hey friends, good to see you again today or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Angela and my channel is all about fashion entertainment while showing you all sorts of affordable finds for us women in our 40s and beyond. So if that kind of thing sounds good to you and you want to see more of that in the future, consider hitting that red subscribe button. All right, so what are we up to today? Well, not only do I have a great Walmart haul to share with you, which is all fall tops and jackets. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm going to be sharing some channel updates with you guys for the next couple weeks. We're gonna do a Bentley sighting since you may not see him for another couple weeks or so. And we're doing the lipstick vote. So don't miss it. Okay, take 150. Okay, have you guys seen these in the store? This company was gracious enough to send me these vitamins to review for you guys. Fruily. I've seen this in Target. I've seen it in Walmart. Uh, they also have it in my local grocery store, which is Kroger. And what they are is completely organic gummies. They have different kinds for different things that you want it to do. This has got vitamin C, D, zinc, and elderberry in it. That's a great combo to protect you from colds and flus. Then they've got this apple cider vinegar. You all know that's like the rage when it comes to losing weight right now. And so they have their own version of this. I'm really excited to try it. Let's see, right? They've got one for hair, skin, and nails. And I think they have a couple of other ones too that are a multi-type vitamin. Anyways, if you see these in the store, check them out, but even a better deal is they are offering you guys a 20% discount. If you want to try something like this and you, you like gummies, you like something that's totally organic, it has no fillers or junk basically, check my description box below. There's gonna be a link and a code for you guys to use that will get you 20% off. You won't be able to get that if you just go to the grocery store or Target or whatever. And they're also offering you free shipping if your order is $35 or more. I was really excited to see these because I'm always up for a good, healthy choice for a vitamin. And I'm a big kid. I just love a gummy. So these were perfect for me. Bentley, we gotta try one of these. They look like jujubes. Mmm. <laughs> Tiny bit sour, but that's actually got a really good taste to it. Good job, Fruilly. I love your concept and your vitamins. Okay, ladies, we are moving this party train along with this first sweater by Sofia Vergara. I gotta say that right, cause I know I had some people snapping at me before for mispronouncing her name. She got a fan club out there, I'm telling you. This sweater I picked up online. I got it in a small and it was $30. Now they had this in other colors as well, but I love this fuchsia. It just gives such a nice pop of color during the fall when, you know, the typical colors you're gonna be seeing are black and gray and all that. So loved this color. It is a really soft, lightweight sweater, loving this neckline. And these sleeves are kind of interesting as well, how it starts out kind of tighter at the top and goes to a wider sleeve at the bottom. It's sassy, it's edgy and unique, and it just kind of makes you want to dance. Oh boy, here we go. Sorry you ladies have to witness this, but you know what? This top is making me want to dance. Is this top Bentley approved? What do you think? Girlfriends, you were so excited about this coat when I showed it last week and it was in ivory and the black came in. So in case you missed it, this coat is by Time and True and it's $25. Now, let me tell you, that's a good stinking deal for $25 because take a look at this jacket. It is Sherpa on the outside and it's got this really nice fleece material on the inside, super warm, okay? It feels really nice. Now, can you wear this in a 20 degree day outside or like when it's below zero? No, of course not. But is this gonna be good for really probably days in the 40s and up? Well, in between 40s and 60s, this is gonna be the perfect jacket for you. 
So here it is in the black. It's a really good length. It does have side slant pockets here, good sleeve length, and it does have a little toggle um, pull on the side here so that it cinches your waist in. Here it is from the side and the back. Now, the ivory coat was great, but this is also going to go with so much this fall as well because, I mean, what doesn't go with black, right? It's going to be harder to see this on black than it did when I did it last week on the ivory, but these toggles, these like little pulls just kind of hang down, right, in a weird position. So I just took it and tied it like you're tying a bow. You're tying it in a knot and you're tying it in a bow, okay? And then this is the look that you're gonna get, which is much neater than just having these big old loops hang down, okay? So here it is. You could dress this up with a scarf, with a really pretty color, wear a pretty color underneath to give your pop a color there. But what a great jacket for $25, unbelievable. Oh boy, this is the perfect jacket to introduce the accessory of the season to you guys. Wait for it. Okay, ladies, this accessory is called the Pooch Pack. And I'm telling you what, you're gonna be seeing this all over this fall. You might be able to get the Pooch Pack, but the pooches are sold separately. I don't even think Walmart will be able to keep these little pooches in stock. You better get to Walmart in a hurry because these pooches aren't going to last long. Now, don't be taking nine of these pooches. You know, like in the movie Bridesmaid, she goes to that wedding shower and she ends up taking nine dogs home. Yeah, you don't want to do that. One pooch per customer. This pooch pack is very stylish. It just adds a little something different to whatever you're wearing. See how much fun you can have with this pooch pack. You can go on a walk with your pooch pack. You've got actually a 10 pound weight built in with this pooch pack. So when you're going out and you're walking, you're building muscles here too, girlfriends. These pooch packs are actually like the perfect thing if you need a little bit of comfort in your day, you just need a little hug, you just need some joy. Wearing one of these little pooch packs, oh my gosh, I'm telling you what, it's like having your own comfort dog attached to you all the time. Anybody have a dog out there who likes getting their ears twirled? By the way, if you actually really want to know where this little pooch pack came from, I bought it from Amazon a while ago, and let me tell you, I love this thing. We have taken him hiking in this little pack because dogs aren't really allowed in the mountains on the trails and stuff so if we don't want to leave him we just put him in this he never touches the ground it's perfection the other thing this has been really good for is taking him for a bike ride yeah you heard me right we took him on a bike ride a couple of different times and he just sits in here like i'm up on a bike where my hands are kind of i'm sitting upright more right and he just, this is how he hangs out and I'm pedaling the bike and he's just getting the wind blown in his face. He loves it. Okay, now that that fun time is over, look at, he's like, oh God, what is she gonna do with me next, right? Okay, now let's go to this next jacket that I was really excited to find just like a day ago. And it, it is really a nice jacket. Now this one is lighter. As far as not being as warm, it's a lighter layer than the other one but still really cute. When I saw it, I was like, that's really cute. I love the design of that. They had this in my store. They had it in this light frosty gray and they had it in like a cranberry color. It's got a lot of neat detail on it. This is by Time and True. I picked it up in a small, $22. You know, for the prices that you can get these jackets at at Walmart, compared to prices that I was finding jackets in other stores and uh, subscription boxes. Like I could literally get three, four of these jackets at Walmart for the price of one somewhere else. All right, ladies, so let's check out the details of this jacket. It does have a hood for those of you who like that. And it has these toggles so that you can pull the hood tighter if you'd like to. It has got this quilted material in the front. You hear that? So it's kind of like this little shinier material, but looks quilted and it does have pockets. Now they are shallow pockets, but they're side slanting. There are no zippers or snaps here, just kind of for your information. Then on the bottom, it's got a material kind of band like you would see in a sweatshirt. 
and it's got the same band on the end of the sleeves here too, but check out the sleeves. So this is a different material and I like all the detail, all the very thick ribbing that it's got going on here. So here's a coat from the side, the back, and the front. So let me give you a look at the inside of this coat too. There's a thin, thin lining in here, you know, very thin. But like this coat is meant to be just like for those little bit of chilly days, not too bad, but you're not, I mean, you certainly wouldn't want to wear this coat in 20 degree weather. Okay. All right. Now I'm not totally sure about this one here, ladies. I picked it up online. So you never know what it's going to really look like and feel like when you get it home. But this is by Sofia Vergara as well. And it is a really nice feeling moto jacket. It's super thin. It feels like suede but very, very thin. And, you know, maybe it's meant to be that way. It's just meant to be kind of like a drapey layering piece. I picked it up in a size small and they had a great deal going on on this. That's one of the reasons why I got it. It was like $26 for a faux suede moto jacket, basically. Um, I picked it up in a size small. It was normally $35. So, you know, it's a little bit of a discount. It wasn't like major, but still it was worth it. Let's put this on. I'm not sure how this is going to work with these sleeves, but you know, we're just going to work with it. Now, you know, would I wear this jacket with this shirt underneath? Of course not. But we're just kind of going with the flow here today, people. All right, so it's got this waterfall effect in the front. So if I pull this out to the side, it kind of looks like a big old beach towel, square, rectangle. And so when you let it go, this is the look that you're gonna get. There's no closures in the front at all. So the sleeve length is good. Um, it kind of comes up a little bit higher in the back, doesn't it? So, and it does have zippers, but I don't wanna take this little thing off the zippers because I don't think I'm gonna honestly keep this. This would be good if you live somewhere that really doesn't get too cool in the fall, but you want a layering piece. You want a cute little layering piece that you could put on top of even just a plain white t-shirt. This would look really cute. But for me going into fall here in Michigan, this thin little thing isn't gonna do me any good, but I could just use it as a little layering piece take off my coat and then bam, here we go, right? I think the waterfall thing for me in the front too is just not my bag, you know what I'm saying? Am I saying I would never get a waterfall cardigan or moto jacket? No, but I just, for some reason, not really loving this on me. But this could look really cute on you. It's a good deal. They had in some different colors, so check it out. Okay, this top is adorable. Let me just start out by saying that. Can you guys tell it's gotten darker in here? It is looking like it's gonna storm again. And you know who, wherever he went, is not gonna like it. Okay, so let's talk about this top. It's by Time and True, and I got it in a small. It's $15. Really, it's kind of like a sweatshirt. I mean, actually, let's call it what it is. It is a sweatshirt, but a short sleeve sweatshirt with puffy sleeves. So it's got this little, you know, detail here. Um, check out the sleeves, how they are puffy. They've got this little pleating at the top here. They're kind of cute, actually. Um, I like the little cuff here, and I like that they're shorter. I kind of do, especially in the earlier days of fall when you don't really need the long sleeves yet. You just need a, something a little bit thicker. This is perfect. It did come in other colors, but you know I had to have the pink. I mean, that's just how it goes. So it's got the band down here like a sweatshirt, um, good length. I mean, it feels like a sweatshirt on the inside too. So really, really cute for $15. And I like the sleeves because it just adds something different. It's a different kind of sweatshirt, not your typical, like they all look the same kind of sweatshirt. I like this too, because it looks cute with just a pair of jeans. And you can wear this with a pair of white jeans really until we can't do that anymore because Labor Day is coming up and you know what happens with Labor Day. But I don't really listen to that actually. I wear white, like if I wanna wear white, I'm wearing white. I'll wear white on Christmas Eve. I don't know. I'll wear white on Christmas. I make up my own fashion rules. That's what I go by. I'm saying this is real nice, okay? This is by Time and True. $17 is unbelievable. 
if you felt this quality of the sweater and all the detail going on here. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just don't even know what to say. Drop the mic. That's all I can say. I bought this in store. They had this in this really pretty blue. It's almost like a sapphire blue color. They had it in a couple other colors, but like when I see the one I want, my eyes are like, I'm like beeline to that color. And then I just kind of forget about the other ones. So unless those were like a maybe for me, but the ones that I saw in my store weren't, so this was it. This was the one. So take a look at all the detail in the knit, the cable knitting, just a different look to it. And it carries out onto the sleeves as well, all the different designs. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. And you had me at V-neck, I'm just saying. I mean, I probably should have started out with that. You had me at the V-neck. Check this out. It is a little bit shorter in the front than in the back, so it gives you a little booty coverage back here, but it gives you the slit as well on the side, so it's a little bit roomy. Now this I picked up in a size small, and I'm saying it's good. I'm saying it's real good as far as the size for me. Um, looks good with a pair of jeans, although I don't think I would pair it with a regular pair of blue jeans. I'd have to really think about what would I pair this color with because I just feel like it's too too monotone with these jeans. So I don't know, I'd have to work my magic up in my closet and maybe even put a scarf on and add something like that. I'm gonna make a prediction here. This sweater is going to be selling out. If you like this sweater at all, get your hands on it quickly because I'm saying this is gonna be one to sell out quickly. It's just, how can you keep it in stock for this price with all this detail, the thickness of it, whatever, it's gonna be a real good one. Okay, did you guys hear that the style is to keep your stickers on and wear it like this this season? How many of you actually believe that? Okay, I don't know which one I'm keeping or if I'm keeping both yet, so I don't wanna take anything off. I wanna make it look nice still in case I take it back for the next person, okay? But these sweatshirts, uh, they're both the same, but different colors, different colors. Uh, it's by Time and True. I picked them up in an extra small because they kind of look a little bit roomy and they are $12. This is a relaxed fit sweatshirt. And so it's a little bit shorter in the front than in the back, it's got the slit. Other than that, it's your typical sweatshirt. Comfy, cozy for around the house. Love this color for fall, that's beautiful. And then I couldn't decide between that one and this coral one because look at how good that looks with jeans, right? That looks really cute. And I like the coral color even though it's more of a summer color, I still like it. But I mean, I would get so much use out of this in the winter and at home or just like going and running a quick errand where I just wanna be in my sweats. I just wanna be in loungewear, right? We all have those days. We just wanna be in our loungewear. As if that was not fun enough. Now we've come to the segment of the video that we're gonna talk about the extras. And I'm gonna be showing you some bloopers because there were a lot of bloopers from this video. I just, I had my coffee this morning. I'm on my second cup. And that could be why I got this. I'm just in like one of those funky moods. Do you guys have that? Where it's like some days you just feel more like energetic and just silly, just silly. So, okay, enjoy the bloopers whenever I decide to show those and let's talk about the extras, okay? First, the channel update. You're probably like, why are you at home? Because you're supposed to be on vacation. So today is the last day I'm home before I'm leaving. So I wanted to get this film for you guys so that you could see all these beautiful, amazing pieces before they're gone in the stores. You gotta get on those things, I'm telling you. Once you see that stuff, you know everybody else is gonna hear about it and then you're gonna miss out if you don't get it quickly. So all that being said, while I'm on vacation, the videos that I post, I just want you guys to know, I'm gonna be reading all the comments, but I'm just gonna be hearting them. That way it just gives me some more time to enjoy my vacation with my husband. I love your comments. I love interacting with you guys. I know it's taken me a bit longer to get to comments nowadays. I'm really trying to keep up on that. Sometimes it's really hard. Just like life, to do life and to do, you know, the videos and return all the comments. Sometimes it's, it's hard, but I love it. 
So anyways, all that to say, I'm gonna heart your comments as I read them while I'm on vacation. So just so you guys know what to expect. I did a post that I would was gonna have a lighter video schedule while I'm on vacation. That didn't mean no videos, because as you can see, you're seeing this video. So it just means lighter. Like, I don't, I don't wanna say for sure one a week I'm gonna do it, like whatever, because I'm just, we're just gonna see. What if we get down there and it's raining every day and we can't go do the things that I had planned to go do because they're all outside? Then maybe I might film more, I don't know. So I'm leaving it up in the air and I'm just saying lighter schedule, not no schedule. And you're gonna be able to see all my vacation updates. I'm gonna post over on Instagram, whether it's pictures or whether I do a story, you know, that little brown bubble at the top, like it took me a long time to figure that out, that if I pressed on those, I could actually see a video of somebody on Instagram. I'm like, oh, that's what that's for. So those little circles at the top, those are stories. Be on the lookout for those too, because I'm gonna probably do short little video clips. And you know what I love about posting those stories on Instagram? I get to put them to music. Like that to me, oh my gosh. I love picking out a good song that goes with whatever little video I'm doing. So make sure you have your volume up so you can actually hear those songs. And I haven't decided yes or no. It's gonna be one of those things I'm gonna leave up in the air. I may do some lives while I'm on vacation. I don't know. Like, don't, you know, if I do it, it's going to be sporadic. I will just turn on the camera and go. There won't be any kind of advanced notice like I normally do for lives. So, you know, if you're available, you're available. If you're not, you just watch it later. And who knows? We'll see what happens. We'll see what goes on on vacation and if I just feel like doing it or not. You see how dark it's getting back here? Still. Yeah, it's raining, it's getting darker outside. Mm, somebody's gonna be getting nervous. The worst thing I think for me going on vacation is gonna be leaving this little guy. For the first time, he always goes with us, but this time he's staying home with the kids and I'm gonna miss him. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna get by two weeks without this little dog. Okay, one more time with Bentley. You can tell he got his hair cut recently, right? Did you guys hear that? He's, he's evaluating the situation. Uh-huh. This little one, no bueno on the storms. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep rolling with it. So yeah, he got, he got his hair cut so that he can, uh, look at that ear. Oh boy. Look at how much back that one ear is. Yeah. He's starting. Okay, anyways, so I thought I would just show him to you guys one more time. Baby seal time with his ears back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Evaluating the storm outside. Are you gonna say bye to everybody? Are you gonna say bye? Say bye. Pretty soon I'm gonna be in total darkness here. It's gonna be like black outside and you won't be able to see me. You're gonna need night goggles, night vision goggles. Let me just say, you all are fantastic. Do you know how many comments I got with suggestions of lipstick colors from you all? You gave me the brands, you gave me the name of the brands and the, well, or the colors. You gave me the brands and you gave me the color names to go out and look for. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're gonna be in the dark here pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> I could, I could turn a light on, but then it's like this light that comes down. It's not good. I'm losing it. I'm losing my light, people. Oh yeah, Bentley is loving life right now. Yep, it is raining. It's looking dark out there. As I was saying, you guys were so darn helpful to me for going out and knowing what to go look for. I took my little list to Walmart and, but let me tell you, if I were to go out and buy every color that everybody recommended, I'd have probably about 50 lipsticks right now. So I had to kind of like break it down and I picked just three to start with. I just want to start with three. Let's see what we think, okay? You know how stinking tiny the little color, the description is on the lipstick? You all know what I'm saying, right? Okay, let's start with the one that I have on. It's really light. It's a Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, number 450, Gentlemen Prefer Pink. So you know who you are if you recommended that to me. I tried to go through 
all of the comments, read them all over again to try to make sure I had a name to say who recommended it to me. I really wanted to like call you out and be like, girlfriend, good color. But I couldn't find, like I had three lipsticks and I went through and I found one name, but I couldn't find the other ones. And so I thought, well, that's not fair. So just know I appreciate you. I just picked these three random colors. Next time we'll see what else we pick. Here's what it looks like. Ooh. Guess who's right by my feet? Yeah, he's right there. All right, and we're gonna keep going. Okay, so here's here it is. It feels really good. It feels moisturizing on your lips. So here, I'm gonna put some more on and we're gonna evaluate this color. So this is color number one, is the Revlon Gentlemen Wear Pink, or Gentlemen Prefer Pink. I tried to go with colors that I saw a lot of people saying in the comments, like a lot of people were saying a, a type of a pink. And then I had the coral group. People were saying the coral. Then I had people saying mauve. So I tried to like pick one of each of those colors, you know, to try on and, and see. So here we go. What do you think of this? Okay, that's choice number one. Let me go take that off and put on the next one. The next color is by L'Oreal and it is a Infallible Pro Gloss Plumping Lipstick and it's a berry. So um, here it is, here's what it looks like. And it's kind of got a weird wand though. It's a little bit, you see, see that? And it's got like a cutout in the center. This one stings a little bit. You can tell this is a plumping one because I can feel that tingliness. So here's a mauve. So it's a berry, but it kind of looks like a mauve, doesn't it? So that's choice number two. Now, obviously it's gonna look good with this coloring on, right? So we have to ignore this color because it's kind of given this even a better appearance. Oh yeah. Okay, so now let's go with number three, which is more of a coral color. This one is by Revlon as well, and here it is. Now this is the gloss version of the Super Lustrous lipstick, but it's the gloss version. See, it even says the gloss. And this is a coral color, Solar Coral. I kind of like a gloss too because most of the time, anyway, my lips feel more moisturized with a gloss. A lipstick that doesn't have a lot of moisture in it, oh my gosh, it just, it doesn't look good on me. I need some moisture. Okay, so here's the coral color. What do you guys think of that? So this is choice number three. I don't know, so you guys are gonna have to tell me which one is your favorite out of these three. Number one is the pink, Number two is the mauve. Number three is the coral. By the way, as always, all the links to all the items that I showed today are gonna to be in the description box below. Actually, if I can find these lipsticks as well, I'll link them in there as well, because I don't know, you might see it for yourself and have the same kind of coloring and think, I wanna try that one. All right, girlfriends, thanks for sticking with me through this whole crazy video, and I will see you in my next video, or maybe a live. Bye. Good to see you again, or welcome if, if it, while showing you all kinds of, while showing you all kind, while showing you all kinds of affordable finds for us ladies in our forties and beyond. Who's this now? Yahoo lifestyle. Ooh, that's horrible. That's even worse. Ooh. Oh, brother. Mm -mm. Mm-mm-mm.